name is Erin, and one of the things I see that kids struggle with in math is proper place values with ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands. So today I want to share with you a couple of techniques and manipulatives that you can use to help your child really understand the value and quantity of proper place values. One of the first things I want to show you is an abacus. If you don't have an abacus, I highly recommend that you get one. Even as a math teacher, I didn't have one. So when this was introduced to my child, I wasn't sure how it was going to go. And now I absolutely love it. What's great about the abacus is that everything is color coded in terms of fives. So the first set here is five. You move it again, it's 10. So it teaches your child to easily pick up and see the differences between five, 10, and to be able to count quickly 10, 20, 25. The other thing that's nice is it's easy to see that, again, the color-coded break, here's 50, here's 50. So a full abacus is 100. This is a nice way for your child to visually see what 100 items looks like, 100 pieces. The other great thing about an abacus is on the back side, they have it broken down to ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands. And so then your child can easily say two ones, two tens is 10, 20, this would be 300, 4,000. So this number would be 4,322. So it's a very nice, easy way for the child to use this and see the proper place values. The other thing I love are these place value cards because it's easy for the child to see the ones, the tens, the hundreds, and the thousands. And it's great for them to be able to build numbers. So even if your child wants to do 34, it's easy for them to see the 30, the tens takes up two digits, and the ones you just add on to the end. So these place value cards are great. You can even make the numbers through the thousands for them to build on top of each other, for them to be able to read the number 7,312. Next, I have these base 10 picture cards which you can easily see the ones, the tens, the hundreds, and the thousands block. So it's easy for them to visualize how much is a 10, how much is a one, how much is your hundred, and how much is your thousands. So for this example, they could build 2,321 and then they can see the quantities in each place value column. Another thing is if you don't have these cards, another option you could do is the flat hundred squares. So you could either make this or get these pages and then cut them out. And as you can see here, I had my daughter cut some out. She did a ones card. I had her do a tens card. And notice I had to do two different colors. Again, splitting it up five and five, just like the abacus. And the same thing with the hundreds blocks five and five and splitting the colors at 50. So you could have them do more of these to be able to build your own set of base 10 value cards. So I wanna show you an example using all three manipulatives because this will give your child a full circle example of different ways to visualize this number here. And again, you can do multiple examples. You can start with doing ones, tens, hundreds, and work up to thousands. I'm just gonna show you an example of the thousands. So first, if I give my child this number, I would ask them to build using the number place value cards. So she would do the 4,300, 50, and seven. Then she could come over here to her base 10 cards and she would get out four blocks of the thousands. 4,300, 50, and then she got seven singles. and lay out her singles. And then using the abacus, she'd have 4,300, can easily grab 50 because of the color difference, and then again, 
seven. So this view gives the child three different ways to conceptualize 4,357. I hope this video gave you some great examples of some manipulatives you can use to really help your child understand proper place value. All of these awesome resources came from Right Start Math. They have these and a ton more. So please go ahead and check out the description in the link below.